Welcome to the world of science and technology. Today we are going to discuss a very fascinating topic uh, in the field of IoT technology. IoT, IoT means Internet of Things. Means electronic gadgets having internet facilities uh, can be connected through internet. Okay. And this way millions of uh, electronic gadgets can be connected simultaneously and they can be operated. Anyway, I am not uh, going to discuss here the details about IoT for that purpose I will make a separate video. Today we are going to discuss a, an app, okay, app uh, used by Ola and Uber. These are uh, ride sharing apps, uh, you must, I think you know this thing, ride sharing apps, you know, by using your smartphones, uh, ride, uh, rides are booked, okay. And that way passengers uh, make their travels. They reach their destination easily, they book their rides easily by using these apps. So behind using these apps, there is, a, there is one technology, that technology is known as IoT. In brief, this is known as IoT, that is Internet of Things. So this technology is there. So what is the requirement? When you, whenever you are uh, booking a ride, to reach to your destination, three things are there, your smartphone means uh, passenger's smartphone, driver's smartphone and the centralized server. These three things are connected together by using this IoT technology. So whenever you are uh, booking your uh, ride, that time what happens, your GPS chip means GPS chip uh, in your smartphone that GPS chip sends signal to the server about your current location. The server should, the centralized server should know your current location and accordingly they can arrange, means the server can arrange, the automated system can arrange the required ride for you or the required vehicle for you. Okay, so by using your smartphone and uh, there is a GPS chip so that GPS chip sends the current location to the centralized server. As well as uh, similarly same thing happens with the driver smartphone. So many drivers are there, you know the, that thing. So many drivers are there. So the server uh, locates the nearest driver and who is free, who can take you to, to your destination. So by using the connection between the smartphone of the drivers and the uh, centralized server, uh, they can easily, means the server can easily detect the nearest driver who is available uh, to give uh, their service. Okay, so this way uh, the process starts. Okay, and uh, therefore uh, uh, the app arranges everything. The app can tell you about uh, the time you need to wait for the uh, vehicle to reach to you. The app can uh, dynamically calculate the uh, route depending upon the traffic jams. Okay, so which route should be selected that is also uh, automatically calculated by the app. That means by the centralized server. Again, whenever uh, on the way, so that time your current location and the route are also displayed by the app. So, so many facilities are there. Maybe uh, you are unknown to that destination. You, you do not know the route. You are new to that place. So, in such cases, you should uh, be aware of the uh, correct route because the driver if driver if driver is found to uh, take you to uh, other destination okay means if you find any suspicious activity how you should find how you would find that suspicious activity if nothing is known to you so the route should be known to you so everything is displayed by the app. 
So, in that case, if you find any suspicious activity of the driver, okay, if you find any suspicious activity of the driver, in that case, there is one SOS button in the app, okay. So, by pressing the SOS button, you can call for emergency services. Maybe uh, a route uh, for there is some unforeseen emergencies. So, in such case of unforeseen emergencies or in case of uh, medical emergencies, uh, the drivers are instructed to take you to the nearest hospital. And in that case, uh, normally, uh, they are also instructed that uh, they do not talk about the additional fares with the passenger. Again, uh, during your ride, you can uh, share your uh, location. Means you can share your ride details with your friends and family members. So, so many safety measures are there. Okay, so many safety measures are there. Again, uh, for uh, some uh, apps, uh, one more arrangement is there, that is, uh, yes, this has been arranged by Ola. I am talking about right now both Ola and Uber, but this arrangement has been made by only Ola and known as uh, that facility Ola Women. That means uh, in that case, especially during uh, night hours, okay, say late night, you are uh, riding okay riding the vehicle to reach your destination in such cases uh, if it is desired by you that only women drivers are required means you can feel uh, safe in that case if a driver is a woman okay so that arrangement is also there and that facility is known as uh, ola women okay so by using that facility you can get uh, easily a woman driver right and uh, there are so many facilities available in your app by using all those things you can safely reach to your destination so two things are there one case is uh, uh, during traveling before reaching to the uh, destination during traveling if emergencies are there, such as medical emergencies, then uh, drivers uh, are already instructed by the company that uh, they should take you to the hospital, nearest hospital, okay? And without talking to you about the additional fares. And one more thing, if anything happens, if anything suspicious activity happens, if, if you have any doubts, in that case, SOS button is available in your app. So, by pressing that SOS button, you can easily call for emergency services. And again, in uh, during night hours, uh, there is a special arrangement uh, that they closely monitor your uh, riding activities. It is only during or night hours. Okay, they can easily. Uh, they can uh, actually they do this thing. They monitor your riding activities closely, so that uh, in any case of in case of emergencies, they can uh, take immediate action. Okay, that means uh, so many facilities are there. In future, uh, maybe more facilities uh, will be able available to all the passengers, whether males or females, for all the passengers more facilities will be available in future but the what is the purpose of making this video first of all uh, in to inform you about the app what are the facilities available in the app what services you can get in case of emergencies and next thing uh, technically from technical point of view the technology behind all these things is iot internet of technology uh, Internet of Things, not Internet of Technology, it is Internet of Things. And just keep in mind, uh, in future you, you will see many, many, many applications of IoT. Almost the entire world will be connected by using IoT. Okay, Internet of Things. And in many cases this is already in use. Anyway, so this was 
all about uh, today's topic okay main uh, topic uh, though the title is different but the main topic is uh, iot okay anyway so this is the end of this video thank you thank you for watching this video